Hey everybody, this is Dolph Lundgren, and this is my career in four minutes. Well, it was kind of cool to work with Roger Moore, who I, of course, knew from a lot of movies. He always said about me, and in those days, my name was Hans, you know, because I had two names, Hans and Dolph. And he always took a cigar over at Pinewood, and he said, Hans is bigger than Denmark. Yes. That was for lunch. And he went back in his Bentley. Well, I was uh, terribly starstruck when I met Stallone, of course, the first time, like anybody would have been, any Swedish kid. And he was had long hair, and he was going to just do Rambo 2, you know, the one when he goes to Vietnam. <clears throat> and I, he took me in his office, showed me a bunch of binders of 5,000 other actors, and said, oh, you're up against these guys. You have to put on 20 pounds, and you learn your dialogue, whatever it was. And then I um, got the role. Uh, I trained with him for five months, twice a day, six days a week, and then um, the movie came out and um, it was kind of strange because I was going out with a famous singer at the time and uh, I was kind of her toy boy or something at the time, in everybody's eyes, and I remember going into theater, uh, it was all the same, and then I saw the movie and it was like, because I hadn't seen it, and I was like, wow, it was on the big screen, and I came out and s suddenly cameras were looking at me and I was like what's going on here and then I realized oh damn okay something's changed didn't really know what it was but it was it was pretty big I ended up doing scenes with this uh, 90 year old Bushman who was about this tall and he spoke click language which is like look, 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 like that and then they had a, you know, they had an interpreter who could speak click look, look, and he could speak South African then they had another interpreter who could speak South African and English. So when the poor director gave him some direction, he went through all these guys, and of course, instead of turning left, the guy turned right and went backwards. <laughs> so all the scenes with him, poor guy, he was a nice man, but you know, it, it took a long time to shoot, to say the least. I did a scene naked, I remember sitting in a tunnel, I was sitting there meditating, nude, with, uh, well, the whole crew standing around. <laughs> And the steady cam shot had to go through all these tunnels and end up on my back and come around it like this, I think. And uh, of course, it took me about you know 25 takes to do it. So it's the last time I did that kind of scene. I'm in a hot tub, of course, with some gorgeous chick, and uh, we get attacked. It's in the bathhouse, and I run up, I grab my gun, and of course, I, I don't have time to put anything on. And we get shot at, and then we're about to jump out, and he says, uh, whatever my name was. Um, Kane, I think it was, or he says, if we die, I just want to tell you one thing. You have the biggest something I've ever seen on the white man. <laughs> and then we jump out the door. <laughs> and I think whoever wrote that line, was <laughs> that was pure 80s. Jean-Claude and me, yeah, okay, that was kind of fun. Um, there was a bit of tension the first day on the set. And, you know, we became friends later, but he had to, it was a scene in Vietnam back in the 60s, and I have this gun on him, and he's gonna kick it out of my hand. So we did one rehearsal, and he kicked really hard, right? Right on my wrist, gun goes flying. All right, maybe it was just a mistake. Put a gun up again, first take, boom. Even harder. So my trainer, uh, my sensei comes up and says, you gonna let him do that? So I said, no, I'm not, so you just, so my karate sensei, who's also kind of my fight coordinator, <clears throat> goes over to Van Damme's people and say, look, if he does that one more time, Dolph's gonna knock him out. Next time, it didn't touch my hand. It was just like a little love tap. 